Hey, Gen Mexers. I am in Ahihik today, and I love this town, as do a lot of Canadians and folks from the U.S. This is a really big draw. It has been since probably the 50s or even before that for foreigners moving to Mexico. I wanted to do a video to see what could I afford here or what's, what's possible for living here. So I found a realtor. <laughs> this is Steve from Phoenix Realty and I'll have his contact information down below, but he's gonna be taking us for a tour around Ahihik, seeing the different parts and kind of what houses look like around town and what they cost. So we're gonna start here though, in the downtown, the older part of Ahihik, specifically the oldest part of Ahihik, this building here, this property was first built about 500 years ago as a monastery. So let's hear what this house here, we can't see a lot of the houses here in, in uh, Ahihik, but we're gonna be seeing outside and Steve is gonna be describing them. Welcome to Ahihik in Jalisco. We're standing outside what is currently the oldest home in Ahihik. This is approximately 500 years old. It was originally owned by the Franciscan Padres. In the mid thirties, it was sold from the state who owned it for about 10 years. It was sold to a private citizen. Um, it's one of the larger properties down, uh, downtown as well. Walking to everything, the owner of this property is adamant about keeping it in the style that she currently has it. So it's very much a lot of the original features on this particular home. This one is a little bit unique. So I wanna know more about kind of the houses that are more typical down here. You can see some of them storefronts, houses, small houses that have been here for, for quite some time. This is where I would wanna live if I moved to Ahihik. We are in the Centro. This is not, I mean, there's probably like only five streets between the highway and the, the water. So it's a very limited amount of space. So not a lot of real estate is, I can't imagine is coming available very often. I haven't seen, but a few signs. I don't think I've seen any for sale signs in this part of town, but there's a lot of realtors offices with a lot of pictures. So we're gonna be spending most of this video, not in this area, but I want Steve to talk a little bit about when houses do become available, what is typical? Many of the, the downtown Ahihik homes, they're pretty desirable. Not many come on the market. A lot of them are owned by families for generations who don't want to sell them. If a house does become available right downtown in the heart of the village, that you can walk to most things, not have to drive, they're usually snapped up pretty fast. In the village, you can get anything from maybe the low 300s right up to the big bigger historic estates that would be maybe one and a half, uh, maybe even above that. So mostly what we're doing is going around and seeing different neighborhoods today and seeing the prices and what you can expect in those neighborhoods. However, Steve has promised me that we are going to see something spectacular and we're going to be able to go inside this house. So watch for that later on in the video, but let's continue here in the older part of town. We are right outside one of the bigger properties just west of Ahihik village. It's still considered the village area. But this property is more or less like two houses uh, together that combine in the yard with a beautiful pool and a really gorgeous garden. This sold at 845,000. It was a well-known house in the area. Jerry Garcia and several other celebrities used to come party here. So this house is well-known in the village. I always forget to ask you guys to subscribe. I'm trying to make that a habit. Make sure you, if you're not already subscribed, click the subscribe button, the little bell, and the word all, so you'll be notified of future videos. Thanks much. There's a lot of walls around houses in Mexico, and so we can't really see the houses here. Let's hear all about them. This is Calle Lazaro Cardenas in Upper Ajijic. Um, You're just a five minute walk to the village. This street is pretty unique. It's a paved street. All of the utilities are underground. Houses on this street are going to be anything from the high threes up to, uh, there's one recently sold at 1.2 million that was spectacular. Average price from five to 800,000 on this particular street. 
most of them would be at least three bed, three and a half bath. Right now, we are in the common area of Riviera Alta, which is one of the prestigious gated communities here. The facilities include one of the largest swimming pools. You've got two jacuzzis, a tennis court, shuffleboard, beautiful open common area for parties. They have potluck here on a Friday night. Steve said there was a tennis court, and I asked, why isn't this for pickleball courts? And he said, actually, this is something that is considered an amenity here because so many tennis courts in town have been turned into pickleball courts. So if you're looking for tennis, this is a great place to go. Prices here, depending on the size of the property on your view, would be from probably the low to mid threes up into the high eights, maybe even into the nines. The house we're standing on the Mirador, which is the rooftop terrace. This house was on the market at 435,000 US. The running costs of this house are less than 4,000 uh, per year. That includes maid, gardener, homeowners, uh, electricity, water, absolutely everything is covered under that. We are now in Villanova, again in Upper Ajijic. This is a walkable location to many restaurants and to the village square, the plaza. Uh, the unit behind me sold very recently at 295,000. That was a two bedroom, a two bath. Fees are very, very low in this area. There's a common swimming pool. And we're in, again, one of the most exclusive areas with a big variation of prices. Again, we're in Villanova. We're just right outside the little complex where we came from. The property behind me was very recently on the market and sold. Uh, it was listed at 750,000 furnished. It's on a double lot. Big property, if I remember correctly, 1,100 meters of land, um, five bedrooms. So this area in particular has a big variation of prices and sizes of the homes. Also, just around the corner from where we are, uh, we had a sale last week of a, a property, a little two bedroom, two bath that sold at 235,000, which a beautiful patio area as well. We are currently in Mirador Floresta. Uh, this is in La Floresta in Upper Ajijic. It's a prestigious uh, neighborhood. Both locals and uh, foreigners have settled here. This is a three bed, three bath, actually three and a half bath. All beds have en suites, huge master suite, uh, all one floor living if that's what you desire. We have a totally remodeled kitchen here, all high-end appliances. We have open plan living, uh, dining. We have the off of the master, another den area, a two car garage, up to date water systems, everything like that. We have solar electric, uh, we have solar water, so your running costs of this property are extremely low. 
what I love about this place. I mean, there's so many things to love about this place, but one of them is the mix of outdoor and indoor living. Like there's the dining room outside, but there's also a smaller dining room inside. The weather here in Ayahik is gorgeous. So you can live outside so much of the year. So, I mean, I would guess here that about half of the living space is outside and about half of it is inside. Some of it, I really like, there is one bedroom up here on the second floor that you can only get to from the outside. Also on this second floor, there's a, a little mini galley kitchen. So this could be, you know, if you've got guests and you kind of want to give them some independence, they could just hang up, uh, hang out up here. It looks like there's actually a gate they could get from, uh, from the first level to the second level without going through the house and just kind of being out here. The, the view of Lake Chapala and also back to the mountains, this is just a really stunning, stunning property. It is really well decorated. It's, it's really cool. Not all the decorations come with it though. So are you gonna have to decorate yourself, but all the furniture does. So you can move right in. And I think there's all the like silverware and all that kind of stuff. Like, does that uh, come? No, she's taking that. Okay. Yeah. So there's gonna be a few things you need to buy, but actually I've got a video about hanging out in Tonala, which if, if I bought this place and I had a budget for decorating and, and silverware and all that kind of stuff, I would head straight up to Tonala on a Sunday and just, just go shopping because the, the type of artwork that you're seeing in this place is stuff you can see that you can get in Tonala or it's the net one next door. Talakapake. Talakapake or some of the higher end stuff. And it's really affordable, even the high end stuff. So you could decorate it very similarly, whatever your style is. But the furniture itself, you're gonna be you're gonna be ready, hit the ground running if you buy this place. I love these ceilings; these are very common in this area. It's kind of these little brick archwork on the ceiling is kind of a uh, normal for the Ahihik area. Well, I was about to put an offer on this, but I noticed it doesn't have an outdoor shower, uh, which is kind of you know a necessity for me. So I'm gonna to have to continue looking. So I missed this little kitchen when we walked in. I was just so like drawn to the house and the pool, but this is really close to that front gate. Such a gorgeous piece of property. I don't want to leave, but it's time for us to move on to the next location. I don't think there's anything else we need to see here or, or to talk about, right? Oh, wait, the price. Let's ask Steve how much it would set you back to buy this property. So the, the cost of running this property, uh, which as you can see is a large property, about $400 a year property taxes, maid, garden or pool service, which are all very affordable here in Mexico. Your internet, which is probably about $39 a month. Television, depending on what system that you care to go for, but everything is a very low cost. And what's the price to buy this house? The price to buy this house is 849000 US dollars. Okay, so I don't know about you, but I was thinking of a much bigger number. This is a dream property to be under a million dollars. I mean, I live in Portland. Maybe if you live in the Midwest or something, that seems like a really big number. But in Portland, that's a pretty standard house. Maybe it's slightly above average, but the neighborhoods in Portland are getting so expensive. All, the entire West Coast is crazy expensive. This is, I don't know, would you guess anything? Like if this was in California, what this would be? This would be uh, a three I can million, four million? Up to like up to three million, three and a half. Yep, so three to three and a half million if this were in California. It's just such a gorgeous place to live and perfect weather. We are right downtown Ahihik. We are on the Malacan or the boardwalk area. Uh, the house behind me is three bedroom, three and a half bathrooms, two level living. It's 575,000. The second floor has beautiful views of the lake, wonderful sunset views as well. Walkability to absolutely everything in the village. Right now we are again downtown Ahihik. This little de development is called Independencia 33. There are some two bedroom models here and some three bedroom models. These sold about 18 months ago, two years ago, uh, for 275, uh, sorry, 250 for the two bedroom 
and 275 for the three bedroom units. This is great, you know, brand new development here, gated community, and actually did a, did a recording here yesterday with a couple. Uh, their video is gonna be up in one of these corners. I can never remember which one. Amazing location and kind of that newer, more modern architectural style, if that's what you're looking for. One thing I wanted to add is that today we're only talking about Ahihik. There is Chapala, there are a number of other communities to the west of Ahihik, uh, which I can't necessarily pronounce, that are less expensive. So there are a number of options along the lake here. Ahihik is just kind of the one that draws the most foreigners to it, I guess. The other communities are really beautiful though too. So if Ahihik is in your price range, it's possible to go down the lake just a little bit. And there is a bus that goes back and forth. I took that just today. It costs like 50 cents. So that completes our tour of Ahihik. Steve is dropping me off downtown, just a block from where I'm staying. And there will be a video about that property too. So you can see a little bit more about the real estate here. Uh, that is a property that is rentals. But let's get a, just a last couple words from Steve. Once again, his contact information is down below. If you're looking for real estate, this video is being shot in the summer of 2023. Prices change often and also the exchange rate changes a lot too. That, that rate probably doesn't matter as much for buying real estate in these high levels, like over a hundred or two hundred thousand dollars. The, the properties are gonna list in dollars. The lower ones might not, but there's not a lot of that around this area. So Steve, thank you so much. Any parting thoughts? Uh, yes, we are leaving each other downtown. Brighton's gonna walk home. I'm from Northern Ireland, so I'm gonna go to the pub. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you so much, Steve. And for those of you watching this video, I've got uh, the video about Independencia 33 that shows you the inside of that house and also Bodhi Village, which is where I'm staying. You can check those out next. Hasta luego.